ain't nobody's hero, but I want to be heard. On your high nine seven every day, that's my word. Just when they limited, it won't find the millions. Pop, 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 we got the millions. It's all about the Benjamins, what? Oh my God, <laughs>guys my rose still here from fashion still nyc and welcome back to my channel do not forget to like and subscribe because yes i'm still trying to get those numbers up i know why you're here you want to know how to get invited to new york fashion week or all the fashion weeks for that matter and i'm here to give you the t the 411 all the info but first let me show you guys what i'm wearing today i am wearing one of my favorite pair of and other stories earrings one ball is yellow one ball is pink you know pink is my new favorite color this lip color is from revline i forgot the actual name of it but i will put it down in the description box wearing my frankie shop muscle t-shirt they also have these at pixie market this is the size small from the frankie shop i think it only comes in small and medium and then i am wearing my favorite pants at the moment from something by sonjia Black owned business I will put a link down to them below I am wearing the size medium and I absolutely love them yes they have pockets they flare like no tomorrow some of you bought them when I featured them in a haul so yeah definitely check them out I love them I think it also comes in a skirt as well and it is a very dark blue denim finally clean this mirror too i recently wore these in a blog post and over on my instagram you guys loved this look also that blog post was all about how to start a blog and how to start a youtube channel in 2020 so definitely check that out and then i'm just wearing my chanel mules i didn't go nowhere today y'all this is the second video i am actually recording for today but i was kind of trying on outfits to see what i'm going to wear to new york fashion week because your girl is going and the fashions have to be on point i'm losing the light y'all so let me just go ahead and get into the business of how to get invited to new york fashion week or any fashion week for that matter maybe this is a good time to pause the video go and get you know your phone so you can write your notes down or a notebook a pen and pencil because i'm about to school you are you ready first things first you're not going to get invited to fashion week <laughs> You know, unless you are an editor at a magazine, you are a stylist, you pull clothes, you style celebrities, you work for a magazine, you work for that actual brand, designer, or company, you're in the media, whether that be the news, TV, whether you're a celebrity, if you don't fall into any of that criteria, you're just not gonna get an invite. Like, it's not just gonna fall out of the sky and into your inbox. You have to be in fashion some way shape or form whether that is styling writing photography something in the creative realm of fashion in order to even try to get an invitation if you're just a person who is just wants to go to a fashion show i don't think it's gonna happen although it could i don't know what's going on with fashion week i think they're maybe falling on some hard times or maybe they just want to make it accessible to everyone but number one the first place you need to go nyfw.com nyfw.com new york fashion week Com. That's where all the information about New York Fashion Week is. That is where they post the New York Fashion Week schedules. Anything you want to know about New York Fashion Week, who's showing, what designers are showing. If you want to watch the actual shows, you can do it from that website. If you go to the nyfw.com website, you scroll down, there is a place that says sign up for early access to all things New York Fashion Week and you can put in your email and submit. You want to do that because once you do that, 
Anything dealing with New York Fashion Week will automatically be emailed to you. As soon as the schedule for New York Fashion Week dropped, it went directly to my email box because I signed up for those notifications. That is also how you can find out about events that you can go to that are free to the public or events that you can be invited to as well. That website, go to it, see who's showing. That's the website you wanna be on for New York Fashion Week. So once you go to that website, and you sign up and you hit submit, there's also an area that says New York Fashion Week Experience. By the way, if you see anything that says hashtag NYFW, that's just short for New York Fashion Week and that's another way to search for things, whether you search the hashtag on Instagram, you search for videos on YouTube, hashtag NYFW will bring all of those New York Fashion Week things up. So, go to the website, check out the New York Fashion Week experiences and I'm looking off because I'm actually looking at the site now and it has a thing called C packages or C special event. So if you click C packages, you can actually now pay to go to New York Fashion Week and this is new. This is something that you could not do before. You can only be like invited by the designers or the PR companies to actually attend shows and events, but through this website you can now attend New York Fashion Week. You have to pay. There are three different experiences. There's the Skybox Lounge Access, which is $599. There's the Elevated Experience, which is $1,000 or $999. And then there's the All Access, which is $2,000 or $1,999. Each of those access plans comes with different things. So if you really wanna go to Fashion Week and you know that there's like no way you're gonna secure an invite, but it's always been your dream to go, then you can invest and you can pay to go. There you have it. If none of these things apply to you, but it's always been your dream to go to a fashion show, that's how much it's gonna cost you. Check it out. It might be something you should consider if you want to go. So in addition to the New York Fashion Week experiences, the three packages that you can pay for, they also have a section on the New York Fashion Week website about special events. And these are different events that you can actually pay to attend. Some of them include Rag and Bone, Badgley Mishka, The Blondes, the Alice and Olivia presentation, Cynthia Raleigh just different shows that you can go to and the packages start at $500 and go all the way up to like 1,000 and some change. You can check that out too if you're willing to pay to experience New York Fashion Week just because it's always something you wanted to do and you're not actually related any type of way to the fashion industry and know it will be really hard for you to get an invite. This is a way that you could do it. So check that out. I'll put a link down to the website below like i said it is nyfw.com now let's move on to if you are in the industry you are a creative you write you have a blog you are an influencer you are a blogger you're a business owner that your business is related somehow to fashion or design or decor then yes you kind of have a way that you can slide yourself in to a fashion show and this is what you have to do again if you go to that new york fashion week website and pull up the schedule you will see that the new york fashion week schedule for february 2020 is already up the dates are february 5th yeah to february 11th there are shows every day on that calendar it shows you what shows are happening not every single fashion show is included on the new york fashion week schedule some brands choose to show off site which means they're not showing at that venue most of the shows take place at one venue and if they're not showing at that venue then usually they're not on this schedule like for example, Tibby. I know that Tibby's gonna show. Tibby shows every season, but they're not on this New York Fashion Week schedule because they show off-site. So sometimes you just need to follow the brand that you're thinking about to just see on their Instagram or on their website if they're actually going to show for New York Fashion Week. But this schedule is a really good place to start. You look at the calendar, you see who all is showing, and you kind of decide which shows you would like to go to. For instance, I see Christian Siriano is showing, Tadashi Shoji, Vivian Hugh, Jeremy Scott, Nicole Miller, Chromat, Zimmerman, 
Lila Rose, Proenza, Christopher John Rogers. Tons of people are showing this season. I feel like a lot more than last season are actually showing this season. Who knows, maybe it's cheaper to secure that space. But you can look at the schedule, see who interests you, and then you send a show request. So if you do not know what a show request is, it's basically an email requesting to go and attend that fashion show. If you want the exact template that I use when I email designers and PR companies for New York Fashion Week, everything that I say and everything that I include in my show request email, definitely head to my Etsy shop and check out the pitch template for Fashion Weeks. And this works for all Fashion Weeks, New York, Paris, Milan, and London, no matter the season, this is the template I use every time that I pitch to go to Fashion Week. I might be having a sale right now, I don't know. Check and see. This is the exact email that I use and if you want those details, head over to my Etsy shop and check out that template. Oh, my lunch is here, one sec. All you have to do is send a show request to the designer or to the PR company who manages that designer. Now the main question I get is, how do you find the right contact information? Google, <laughs> you guys, it's not hard, Google. Google is like the business. I see Cynthia Raleigh is showing and I wanna go to her show. What do I do? I go to the Cynthia Raleigh website and then I scroll down, I look for contact and then I look for press or PR, which stands for public relations, contact. I see what that email is and then I write up my show request and I send it there. That's how you find it. It's hard to find all of the information in one place unless you're signed up for the New York Fashion Week info. Sometimes they will email you the schedule along with every email to contact the brand or the PR who represents that designer or brand. I actually have one of those emails from last season, so it's pretty easy for me to just go through and be like, okay, I wanna go to Cynthia Riley, look over, this is who I need to contact, instead of going to the website and looking everything up. The best way to find the contact is to go to that designer's website, look for contact, look for press contact, PR contact, or public relations contact. You can also just Google Cynthia Raleigh PR contact, but sometimes that will bring up every PR firm that they've gone through over the last five years. You don't know which one is the correct one. Usually the correct one is always on their website, so I would start there. If you can't find any information there, then you should head over to Modem Online. So modemonline.com is a website they have everything related to Fashion Week, all Fashion Weeks, New York, Paris, Milan, London. They have all of the PR contacts and information, all of the showrooms, where the designers are, addresses, emails, everything you could ever want, you can find it there. They also have the schedules there as well. When you go to Fashion Week, there's usually a lounge, in whatever city you go to, a main lounge, and they always give out these little books modem 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 these are all from past fashion weeks like they're super old this one is actually from fall winter 2014 that's how long i've been going to fashion week so i like to collect these and people walk past them all the time if you look around and you see them grab them because literally every designer every event everything happening all the pr contacts are in these little books literally all the info. And so you don't have to spend your time looking online or looking everywhere to find the PR contact and information or showrooms where to find out where the showrooms are and how to contact to be able to pull and borrow clothes. Everything is in these books or on modemonline.com. So you can go there, type in a brand and it will bring up the PR contact press contact, public relations contact for that brand. And you can then email them a show request to get an invitation to their fashion show. I'm not gonna really get into what to say because I feel like that's a little too much information. I mean, I feel like this is enough. Like I said, if you wanna know exactly what I put in my emails, you can check out my Etsy shop and you can check out the Fashion Week template. I also have a template for pitching to brands, hotels, 
and fashion week and that also comes with a rate sheet that's probably the most popular pitch template package that i've ever sold because basically it covers all of fashion week if you want to use your social media to kind of leverage getting a hotel stay for coming for new york fashion week if you want to work with brands while you're at new york fashion week and then if you want to get into the shows that's pretty much the best packet to buy and it works for all fashion weeks i've been to them all except for london i've been to paris about i don't know five times i've been to milan once milan was fun i think i'm actually gonna go back to milan this year we'll see and new york i don't even know how many seasons i've been probably like 15. it works for all the fashion weeks it also has all of this information that i'm talking about right now with links to everything if you don't want to have to keep referring to this video go ahead and support black business and buy that template. Like I said, go to the website or go to modem online to find the PR contact or just Google. That's the easiest way. Sometimes the email is gonna get bounced back to you. It happens. Designers, they change PR companies, they change public relations. Sometimes they go in-house, which means they have their own public relations in-house. No one else outside of the company is handling that for them. Sometimes it's just press at CynthiaRaleigh.com, PR at CynthiaRaleigh.com, public relations at CynthiaRaleigh.com. If nothing else works, try those three. Who cares if it bounces back? Who cares if it gets sent to the wrong person? Like people are really too afraid about sending the wrong email to the wrong person. 100% of the time, anytime I've ever sent an email to the wrong PR, they've always responded and told me the exact person first and last name to send that email to the correct person. So it doesn't matter, send it. When I very first started pitching for Fashion Week, for like one brand, when I couldn't find the correct email, I would send like the email to like all the 10 places I found that it could possibly be the right one. I mean, you really have to put in the work and most of the time it does pay off. So the best time to send your show request would be about, three weeks to a month before fashion week starts because that's when the brands, the designers, and the PR companies are finalizing their seating charts for the shows. Today is what, January the 19th? Now would be the perfect time for me to send an email for this upcoming fashion week that starts February 5th. Same thing with the shows taking place in September. The Ready to Wear collections always happen in February and in September. So maybe towards the end, the third to the, the third week of August, the second week of August, you wanna start sending out your show request for the shows happening in September. That gives people time to remember you. If they don't respond, you can always send a follow-up. The worst they can say is no. I've been told no millions of times. I've been told, oh, you know, our schedule is finalized. If anything should come about, we'll email you back. That's fine. You just keep going until you get that invite. Trust me, if you work hard enough, you're gonna get at least one invitation. Brands and designers, they love any kind of press that you can give them. So if you have something that you can offer them, a blog post, a vlog, Insta stories, Instagram, they're gonna want any kind of press that you can bring to them. Another way to kind of stay in the know with what is going on during New York Fashion Week or any fashion week for that matter is to join GPS Radar, which is a website that pretty much updates you on everything happening with all the fashion weeks. They also include the photos from all of the fashion shows, all of the fashion events. Now I've been a part of this since it launched maybe in like 2000 and 12 like that's how old this platform is so i don't know how easy it is to be approved now just because i've been in it since it was in beta you just go to the website you sign up as media or an influencer or business whatever pertains to you you set up your profile i guess and then i guess you just have to wait and see if they let you win if they do this is kind of what the interface looks like. I have different tabs at the top. Basically, I go to the events tab and it basically brings up every fashion event happening everywhere. And you can kind of tailor it if you just want to see what's happening in New York or Paris or Milan or London or anywhere in the world, really. But I know that some of the events show up here for New York Fashion Week. Some of the brands put their stuff on there earlier 
some wait until maybe like a week before the show but eventually everything ends up on this website in the events and as you can see i can kind of scroll through and there is a place for me to request an invitation by literally clicking a button that's all i have to do it sends the email directly to the brand lets them know who i am what i do shows them my profile and then they can then kind of let me know whether or not I can come to the show sometimes there is no request it just says do you want to come yes or no you click yes and as soon as you click yes you get an email telling you what time the show is when it's happening where it's happening any hashtags maybe and then also a barcode this barcode is what you will show when you go to the event the barcode will be scanned and then they let you into the venue for the show if you're in the industry and you are a creative i would definitely recommend joining gps radar trying to get an account like i said i don't know how easy that is anymore but it makes it super easy after you're in to basically request invitations to all of the major fashion shows and also find out any information about events happening during fashion weeks and so yeah it's pretty dope so once you get an invite like i said you either get emailed a barcode or some kind of email and then once you get to the venue where the show is you either show your barcode and it's scanned and they let you into the venue this is usually what happens at spring studios which is where a lot of the shows happen the shows that you see on the new york fashion week website those all happen at spring studios or you just give them your name and you're on some list and then they'll let you in so you can't really just roll up in there and try to go sometimes you can you can always like go up and ask the desk like not all the way inside but where they're scanning everything if they have any standing seats and if they say yeah sometimes you can ask for a standing seat and they might let you just stand and wait until everyone who has a ticket everyone who has a seat gets inside and then let you in at the very end and then you kind of stand in the back and watch the show it's always worth trying I get a lot of standing seats and I have no problem standing up sometimes that's the best seat so like do what you gotta do to get into the show last but not least I get a lot of questions about are there any public free events that anyone can come to during fashion week and the answer is yes there are events for free that are open to the public there is no one website that's gonna list all the free events for New York fashion week literally you just have to follow your favorite influencers who are probably working those events and who are going to promote those events you just have to follow your favorite brands on Instagram and see what they're doing if they're doing anything for fashion week you can join my newsletter any events that I host that I find out about that are free and open to the public there were three events that I hosted last New York Fashion Week that were open to the public anyone could come and check those things out I will announce in my newsletter right before Fashion Week so there is a link below down to my newsletter make sure to subscribe to it if you want to know any free events that anyone can attend literally you just got to be looking <laughs> looking hard because there's no one place that's going to tell you about all the the free things that are open to the public that are happening during new york fashion week or any fashion week for that matter so that's it that is how you get invited to new york fashion week paris fashion week milan fashion week london fashion week any fashion week you can apply these tools and i hope this helped and if it did do not forget to like and subscribe because your girl is still trying to get those numbers up since i do give a lot of advice about blogging about influencing going to fashion week how to pitch to brands how to pitch yourself for sponsored trips and travel how to pull from designers and brands how to get sponsorship for your events either with money or with products all of these things that are great for bloggers, influencers, and business owners, I am going to start a new category here on my YouTube channel. All of those videos will be put in blogger tips or blogger advice, I haven't thought of the name yet, category. So all of those videos will be in one place if you want more tips on influencing and blogging. So check down below, I would have already put that together and included a playlist of all the videos that talk about blogging and influencing and fashion week and all of the above. All right guys, that is it. This is my second video that I recorded for today. It is now 
4.46 and I have only had a cup of coffee. My lunch came a little while ago and I need to eat. And I need to write this blog post for tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful guys. Like I said, if it was, please like and subscribe to never miss a video. And check out that blogger tips, blogger advice category for more details. All right guys, I hope I see you at Fashion Week. Bye.